we have to talk about the Final Fantasy X ending because we just finished streaming Final Fantasy X and Final Fantasy X is arguably, but not arguably, the most iconic video game ending in history. In this video, I'm going to share with you three reasons why you remember Final Fantasy X all of these years later. Reason number one, this is going to sound a little heady, the individuation of the self between Titus and Jet. Titus kills Jet at his own hands. They used Jet physically, because if you think about it logically, I don't think that Jet would actually physically be there as a person. He would probably just take on the form of his final Aeon or be controlling Sin. It is finally in this moment that Titus is able to individuate from Jet and sever the connection between himself and his father, but also find an appreciation and love and pride for him. The definition of individuation according to the American Psychological Association is a process by which a person attains a status as an individual human being and asserts himself or herself as such in the world. He was bogged down by being called a crybaby. He felt that he was in the shadow of his father, that he still, even at the end of the game, saying, yeah, I'm not as big as you. When Jet says, you're all bones. It's so clear in that very delicate interaction between them that Jet still does not know how to show affection toward Titus. It's also interesting that Jet looks exactly the same, probably because Titus is confronting Jet as his memory of him. This is serving the purpose for Titus. Maybe not to be logical since 10 years have passed. Orin looks different after 10 years. But in contrast, we see someone else in the ending of Final Fantasy X, and that person is Seymour. Now, I don't think Seymour was used that effectively in the ending. I think that he just kind of became a boss, like, hey, remember me? But Seymour serves a very important function. Seymour remembers or somehow knows that Titus is the son of Jet and brings that up. And I think that the creators want us to draw parallels between Titus and his father and maybe Seymour and his mother. Because if we're thinking about individuation, Seymour has not individuated from his mother, who is the Aeon Anima. Anima is also a Jungian psychology term. The Anima according to Carl Jung, is the feminine side of the male's unconscious. So Anima was chosen to be that feminine side of Seymour. And also that Aeon represents Seymour's mother. Seymour, we learn in the game that Seymour thirsted for power after he got Anima. He was given this leg up by being coddled by his mother. And then he took that and decided that he deserved more. Seymour feels perfectly comfortable killing just about everyone in the game, but I don't think that he feels comfortable killing his mother from himself. That's why Titus is the protagonist, because he is able to sever the relationship between himself and his father. Reason number two, the theme of not having enough time. So when Titus confronts Jet, both of them say, we don't have time. We have to do this. Maybe it was their way of saving the uncomfortable sentimental talk. In the end, there was no time later. It's like, we can't talk. I have to kill you. And then after you're dead, well, then we can't talk. But there's more. Titus and Yuna, they also run out of time. Titus says to Yuna, I have to go now. And the way they time it is so good, how it goes out to the airship and how they're just standing there staring at each other for such a long time because Yuna has everything to say and because she has everything to say, she has nothing to say. She wants to cram their whole lives together in that moment. And so both Titus and Yuna also ran out of time. This game speaks to the fleetingness of time that we all share. They're showing how small the human lifespan is. To bring this whole idea back to you and maybe back to the real world, about how many times do you see your parents, if your parents are alive, in a year? Let's say that you see your parents twice a year, one time for Christmas and one time for Thanksgiving. Say that you still have just 15 good years left with your parents. That means that you will see your parents only 30 times. But we forget this. We forget that we 
only have such actually a small number of interactions. Titus and Yuna's relationship is so special, and when they run out of time, I can feel like they have had too few moments together that they have been stolen of a relationship. It's also why I'm so addicted to playing the game, all of the celestial weapons, all of the monster arena stuff, and I think the reason why I want to even do these things is because I'm giving Titus and Yuna more time. And the third thing that makes the Final Fantasy X ending so good is that it is dealing with the grief of moving on from the people that we love. Now, the game could have ended with Titus jumping off of the airship, but instead what we are left with is Yuna's mourning, with her whistling out into the ocean, with her saying, don't ever forget. And it is the eternal memory that we're left with. And isn't the eternal memory a dream? Our memories are like dreams. When we have all these memories with our loved ones, they all get crystallized in a moment and then they slowly vanish. And it's a real sad part of our human existence. Every one of us, everyone who has ever lived and died becomes a dream, comes like a sphere, which is how the game hits on a core part of our human existence the fleetingness of time, life and death, and how we have to cope with this human suffering. This is what every religion is born out of, of solving this very problem, the essence of humanity. Which is why I love Final Fantasy X so, so much, and I'm so glad that you have done this journey with me. I hope you join me as I play more Final Fantasy in future streams on Wednesday and Friday evenings at 7 p.m. Pacific. We're going to be playing Crisis Core next, and I have a backlog of a plenty of Final Fantasy X and X2 content if you're interested in it. Isn't it so weird that I'm saying I'm moving on? I, I still might be talking about Final Fantasy X. I probably definitely will. So it won't be gone forever, but we're gone from playing the game through. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye everyone. Bye.